Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up the Xbox Series X, the Series S, also known as the Xbox Wireless Controller to your Windows machine, so you can use it on the PPSSPP emulator, which is a PlayStation Portable emulator. There's two options. You can either A, plug it in via a USB Type-C cable, which the controller or the Xbox does not come with, which is ridiculous. I know technically it is not rechargeable unless you have a play and charge kit and you'll come with that, but still. Okay, and then you just connect this onto the other end and it's just plug and play. The other option is almost plug and play. It is Bluetooth. So that's like wireless and play. And to do that, just go to your Bluetooth settings. So obviously you'll need Bluetooth on your computer. If you're running a new computer or a laptop, it should be all good. If it's a custom build, may or may not, depending on the motherboard. So I recommend getting a cheap dongle for a few quid or a few dollars. So first of all, you need to put this into sync mode by pressing this button right here. Keeping it pressed for a few seconds, this will start flashing like so. Go to add Bluetooth for device, Bluetooth, and it will appear here as something like Xbox wireless controller still waiting for it to appear if it takes a little while to appear for some reason I have I have this issue sometimes I don't know if it's my Bluetooth adapter it could be if I unplug it and then replug it back in then it you know sorts it out again I think that's more my Bluetooth dongle than anything else Maybe it wasn't the best thing to get a cheap one. <laughs> Click done. And once it goes solid, you know you're all good to go. You can check it is connected by going to set up USB game controllers. You'll detect it right there. If you plug it in via a wire, you will detect it as well. You might detect it like an Xbox One controller. That's fine. Every button works on here. Apart from one, that's the share button because technically it's mapped here as an Xbox One controller and it doesn't have the extra button. It's not really an issue for PPSS, I mean PSP stuff. But we can close this down. If you want to ever disconnect, you just click that, move device. And now to map the control, go to game settings, control mapping, and we can map it right here. You can either, you know, map it for one of, over one of the existing ones, delete one of them, or you can just map a new one. So press up, uh, D-pad. Uh, I've already got it mapped to be first. So I'm going to clear all. Clear it all. There we go. Down, left, right. In a circle, I will do a B. Obviously, you can do whatever configuration you want. You can make it so you have your face button swapped with your D pad or your analog stick fit swapped with your triggers. It's totally up to you. Now, why you would want to do that? But it's one of the benefits of using. An emulator you can do customization like that so i'm going to do this as a start button select button l and r i'll just do these l r and then analog stick because it was only on the left side i believe i'm going to be positive on the PP psp so yeah it's on the left side where did the psp go i had the psp 1000 still got it actually at my question i got it here so my parents have said it Okay, so analog up, analog down, analog left, analog right, and feel free to, these are more extra toggles and buttons that you can add for, you know, like you can add volume up and down, you can mix and match it with the keyboard. That's the basics, you know, that you really need to get going. Click back and let's run a game. And you will see that it is working load in I should just be able to press Boom. that's the equivalent of X on the PlayStation controller if I press make sure I mapped it all correctly yep so start and select takes me to the menu start oh start on the right I'll do the wrong right Okay, so if I do arcade battle, as you can see, it is working, but I will. Let's be Eddie. Should press the equivalent to triangle, would have got a better outfit, but doesn't really matter. I'll just turn the volume down. 
that's the reason you're not hearing anything or be very quiet and you should move him back forward so there we go i will just defeat this guy harang here his kicks are lethal especially that free one there you go Ch -ch -ch. let's do the excellent circle equivalent so it's a and b oh yeah i think they numbed i think they dumbed down the a and b in new games I'm just going to go to the menu again. Oh, I can't do it actually. I can't do it in this game. There we go. So that is it. How you connect the Xbox Series X, Series S. I guess the Xbox One controller if it's the Bluetooth version. I've got a separate video covering other Xbox controllers uh, in Phil. So feel free to check that out. And other videos covering like PlayStation controllers as well. So feel free to check them out. Really simple. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.